Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. This is Max and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to share everything that goes on around the DMZ in South Korea. The trip I am about to take is authorized by the South Korean government and we are going to go back to the actual DMZ and we are going to cross the civilian line of control. And everything that happens, I am going to share in this video. Before we proceed to the DMZ, we in the morning we went to another location called as the Mount Gamsan Suspension Bridge. This suspension bridge is located in the Pajo region of South Korea. Uh, this bridge was built in 2018 and it is sort of symbolic and commemorative in a nature in the sense that there was a British battalion which died uh, during the Korean War when they were trying to dispel the Chinese forces and in their honor this bridge was created. There are a few military bunkers uh, at this location as well. So in the morning we first went to visit this bridge and now after visiting this bridge we are going on to the DMZ. The tour that I was part of was a guided bus tour which took us to various places around the DMZ. As we approached the DMZ, there was a checkpoint where our passports were verified and checked by the South Korean military personnel and then we were allowed into the DMZ area. Statues slightly less, right? Because it represents ongoing pain and anxiety. If you know the Japanese government made comfort woman station for soldier just for sex, so they kidnapped young girl and tricked it like if you want to get a job, just follow me like that. So young, if young girl got sick or became pregnant, they just kill them or abandon them. It's happened during the war. So after God independence, we just demanded apology, but Japan has refused and denied what happened until now. That's why we made this statue in front of important building in Seoul, nearby Japanese embassy. You can see this statue even at, in overseas as well. Mm -hmm. So this empty chair represents the people who passed away because of that. Originally, we had a two railway. Seoul to Shinizu. Shinizu is located in North Korea. So Seoul to Shinizu, Shinizu to Seoul. We have uh, two railways before, but during the Korean War, both of them was destroyed. And then after we got independence and uh, after we signed a uh, ceasefire agreement, we made this. We was built this built uh, this bridge for temporary bridge because for exchange the prisoners. The UN forces and prisoners push this bridge to gain their freedom. So the design was not good, honestly, because it was built as a temporary bridge for them. But it's more just more than just structure. A strong reminder of the pain of separation. And also, you can see the levers on the fence, right? And over there as well. It's so pretty, but it has a sad meaning. Separated families wrote down their hopes, like, I want to see my mother again. I want to reunification like that. So it has a saddest meaning in South Korea. Okay. UN forces. As I told you, Chinese troops joined the war for helping the North Korean military. So UN forces made decision just destroy this train because we are afraid that North Korea soldiers can capture military supplies. So that's why UN forces have to retreat and also this train way back to Jangdan Station. Jangdan Station is nearby Boulder, so it's abandoned for 34 years there. So you can you can count that, uh, how many bullet marks here? Can you count? count? <laughs> <laughs> it's over 1,000. But the thing is, driver was survived at the time. Yeah, because he just 
came out and checked the cargo, and at the time, just UN forces destroyed this one. So you, uh, UN forces is on our side, but they don't, they did, didn't think that people. So you can, you can feel how cruel this Korean war, right? And he has a trauma. He lived until 84 years old, but he had a trauma during whole life. And so. This is really meaningful because after the Korean War, it's moved here for cultural heritage. So just imagine that after 30 years, it's really hard to recognize when you know face had changed a lot. There was no Instagram, there was no internet, so we have to manage the personal information memory. So if the personal information matched, just overwhelming whole South Korean cried together. You can search on the YouTube, you can see this video. Whenever I see this one, I cry because it's so sad. So it's really meaningful. It's aired over 130 days in law. So it's really meaningful. UNESCO recognized its film. So it was designated as the memory of the world. And also the theme song of this program, we called 30 Years Lost. So it became a mega hit song when it released. So it also designated as a, you know, the Guinness Book Records. It became a fastest mega hit song ever. So both this program and theme song, both of them are strong reminder of pain of the Korean War. Confucianism culture, do you know that? Confucianism. So it's a big part of our culture. It emphasizes moral value and especially respect parents and sisters. So, a uh, whole family gathered together, whole Korean gathered together on on holiday, like Happy New Year's Day or Thanksgiving Day, we called Chuseok. So we bow to ancestors' grave, bow to grandmother. So it's a big part of our culture, but what about separate families? They don't go to North Korea, right? So our government made this Mangbaek an altar for them. So, on Chuseok, Thanksgiving Day, on Happy New Year's Day, they just come here and put food on the table and flowers. So you can see a flower right now, right? And bow to North Korea. You can see the uh, North Korea landscape there. Because it's the closest area, it's only far from 7 kilometers. So they come here and bow to North Korea together. So actually, this Im Jinggang is really interesting place for tourists, but it's this place for separated families. Mm -hmm. So you can see the amusement park there, right? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. This is for separated families' children. Yeah. When they do ritual, they just go there because they, they're not interested in this ritual. <laughs> so, uh, there is a camping site as well for families. So please remember separate family, it, this area for separate families. As part of this tour, there is an option of uh, taking this peace gondola and crossing the Imjin River. It is not included within the tour package, but I chose to go down this route. Uh, the gondola takes you to the other side of the Imjin River and there are there is a museum as well as an observatory where which you can see the North Korean landscape.
뛰어 들 불러 주시요. 그래서 내 하면서 다 이제 서로 다리를 꺼내 못 넘어옵니까. 어, 우리 그 첫날에 제일 땅굴 있잖아요. 그것도 그 좁은 데에서 한 시간 만에 만명 이상이 내려올 수 있다니까. 얼마나 그러면 오, 여기 저희가 다리로 분들이 막 그러면. 네, 그죠. 이거 이겨야지. 그 당시에 너무 힘들었나봐. First, it was built by South Korea. It's one hundred. It's about three hundred fifty meter. It's quite long. So when you come back, I can say it's a hiking. So there are lots of chairs you can take up. Uh, rest, okay. And this way, there is a North Korea model. So they try to dig the tunnel, and you can see the hole with yellow mark. As I told you, they put the dynamite into the hole. And there is a spring water. If you're thirsty, you can drink water here. And I will. Uh, this one is the original intersection tunnel. Actually, this one is for tourism. It's the original one. And now there is a monorail for seniors. And that is the infiltration tunnel built by North Korea. I will say goodbye here, and you can go is, uh, inside of the infiltration tunnel. It's two meter high, two meter length, so you have to bend like that. I will show all of you will hit your head on the ceiling. There are lots of bum 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 sounds because of the super narrow. Mm. We will wear the safety helmet. Please take off your hat and put in the rocker, okay? And this is the machine automatically displays the number uh, from the armistice agreement. So you can check the numbers, days, and there are three blockades, concrete blockade to prevent the North Korea. So you can see, there's a small window, so you can see second uh, concrete blockade. There are plants living here. So this is the MDL, military demarcation line. If you cross this line, you never come back. Okay. Post the Korean War, in the subsequent years, North Korea built four tunnels along the South Korean border in order to intimidate and also to cause trouble to the South Korean nation. One of these tunnels was the third infiltration tunnel, which was discovered in 1978. This tunnel is located about 350 meters below the ground level. We can visit this tunnel, however, we are not allowed to carry any camera equipment nor any luggage. You can just carry your passport and a water bottle. At the very end of the tunnel, that is at the edge of military demarcation line, we can see the North Korean territory and the tunnel which was dug by North Korea. It has been abandoned now uh, from the North Korean side, but we can still see uh, the North Korean side of the tunnel. And there is a small white building. Can you see that? It's a little bit small, but top of the mountain over there. Yeah, that is the North Korean guard post. So actually, we watch each other every time. So in the middle, there is the river, uh, triangle shape. Can you find that? This is the Satchan River. I can say this one is the natural border between North and South Korea. It's similar like MDL. Yeah, uh, actually MDL is over there, but it's harder to see that. So uh, this river could be natural border between us. So this is the farming area in Kaesong City in North Korea. And on the right side, there is a new village. So nowadays they build that. So it's more clear than Kamamgo village, right? And in the very center, uh, can you see the tall black building over there? Tall black building, everyone find that? And uh, please, do you know Kim Jong Un, right? Yeah, Kim Jong Un's sister, Kim Yo Jong Un. Do you know her? Super thin woman. Yeah, she's the sister of Kim Jong Un. So she ordered this building uh, just exploded up because this black building, this black building is a symbol of developing our good relationship. It was built in 2018 summit. So. It's a symbol of developing our relationship, but Kim Yo Jong in two, almost six years. Yeah, it's, it's in 2020, 2020, Kim Yo Jong exploded. 
it, that, that's because we have been bad relationship. So this black building remains this explosion. This one is uh, that one exactly. The black building is the uh, North Korea headquarters. So through this building, we could communicate before, but just exploded. Or exploded this building right now. So around this black building, there is a Kaesong Industrial Complex. As I told you, it's a between a uh, swimming project. Can you remember that? Yeah, we made stuff together. So around the black building, there is a Kaesong Industrial Complex, but there's no people right now. Hey guys, so that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, then please do like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any queries or feedback for me, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you had a wonderful day. I wish you Godspeed and thank you for watching.